So we're going to go in here today anyway. We had a bit of research on it yesterday. Um, there are trenches for us to go down. I don't know if you can see in the background just there. Uh, in whoo, dog keep still. Just there in red, red sticks. A little garden area. And they're kind of meant to be like poppies. So we're going to have a really good investigate later today. And uh, we'll show you around it as well. See you soon. And here's one of the uh, one of the gardens I was just pointing out. All the uh, red fencing sticks around that symbolise the poppies. This is the one for the United Kingdom. Okay, uh, but all over you see them all over the place. So we've got from Belgium there, uh, United States down there, Australia, just over there you've got Canada. Um, there's a New Zealand area in Australia. There's one through there I haven't looked at yet. I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. Uh, but it is such a, such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place. And this is a memorial garden for the fallen German soldiers. And you have to remember that just because they were German soldiers does not believe, mean they believed in the war and they believed in all the killing. Um, in fact, the vast majority didn't, but they were soldiers. They had orders. They had to do what they were told to do, regardless of whether they believed in it or not. And uh, consequences were of not doing, not following the orders, were greater than uh, greater than obviously if, if if they'd have actually gone against the orders. Um, it wasn't just them, their own lives that were putting at risk. It was the families as well. The families were threatened. So, you know, the majority of German soldiers had to follow the orders regardless. Which is a shame. And just here, you've got um, a nature reserve lookout. I can't speak this language, but as you can see there, are all the different um, insects, animals, uh, plants, the bird of kingfishers that you can see. And if we go through here, there's a bench there we can have a sit on. And you can look out there and just watch, watch life go by, watch nature happen. That's such an amazing, amazing park up. The only thing you have to realise as well is, what are these ponds here? They're not man-made. Well, they are. Well, they're man-made from the bombs. They're craters that they've turned into, well, something beautiful. The noise down there, they're actually cleaning out the Belgium Memorial Garden down there. But the grounds here are absolutely huge, huge. The dog is in heaven. So we're in the chateau now and there's audio guides for us, but they've actually got a special audio guides for the little ones to make it a little bit more interactive and easier and simpler to understand for them. How cool is that? And get the audio guide out. This is a small one, okay. You need to find a rat. Let's go and have a look. Come on, this way. So these are all the uniforms that were worn at the start of the First World War. So we've got two Belgian ones, a soldier and officer, two Germans, two British. Um, one's being the Scottish one on the right, which were later known as the Ladies of Hell, because the Germans thought they were ladies, and they held out and beat them. And then you've got just the French one there. The either or the gas warfare that had to be brought in during the First World War, because they needed to find a different way to win. You 
to smell the gas. It smells all over. Found the rat. Oh, yeah. Here's the dugout labyrinth, basically, of, uh, of trenches and underground area underneath this building. I think it's going to get a bit darker. All the bombs going off, and you're trying to find your way to the section you need to be in. Is there beds? This is all a reconstruction, by the way. This part is, but they did actually exist underneath, yeah. underneath here. Where's my thing? Oh wow! No, um, my yeah. missing thing. Hello. But where's yours? A rat, go and look at the rat. Finally. Right, I mean, that's really good in there actually. It didn't show all the parts. Press that one there then. That's it. Mm, these colours. Wow, look at the size of these. Wow. Imagine having these fired at you. 1914 to 1918. When so there's no technology, you didn't know what thing was coming over. Yeah. It's just crazy the amount of uh, World War One artifacts that are here. I've never ever seen such a big amount in one place. It's an exceptional museum. It cost us 29 euros for the four of us. Um, with, with what you get for it, you get all the grounds and everything like that, it's worth putting the money back into them. This is just looking at the Morse code. Certain things which. Yeah, you need the plastic. Yeah, so heavy are they? Yeah. Wow, that is so heavy. Imagine being in war with the ease on. Are they heavy, are they? No, not really. Not really? No. That was heavy to pick up. Imagine going through the trenches and running mm -hmm. to the enemy or from the enemy in there. Just walk with the 
Or get you down to the medic bay. <laughs> so now we've got the cleanses. So it's a little bit brighter out there. But it's definitely not a place you would want to have been in. I'm glad it's not raining, but I haven't been here in the... Oh, it is raining. And here are the German trenches. Hello. Hello. Say hi. What do you mean go? And this is where guns would go. It's where the other trenches are all the way somewhere there. Looks like you're a British one, say. There's just one. And there were little pockets. Wow. This is a mortar post. It's a reconstruction on this part. It's where they keep the small pieces of artillery. This way. So those are the German trenches, and now we're into the this British trenches. You can know, tell because it's wood. You can, you can tell because there's no wood and planks on the sides now. Is that right? Yeah. So there's wood for the German trenches, yeah? Mm -hmm. And these are the sandbags and concrete for the British trenches. Is yeah. that right? Dad, okay. Somebody's been listening in history, that's good to hear. Mom, I'll read you GCSE history. Uh -huh. Dad, Can I come past him, sir? No. Here's the trenches from above. So what did we all think about that? Good. Yeah? Babe? Very really good. Yeah. I think you get more... Interesting. Yeah, very. Then you get more learning in there, in maybe doing three hours in there than you would in probably four or five, maybe six weeks at a... Yeah, easy. At a table in school. Yeah. You can see what it would have been like, can't you? You know, the actual um, trenches and environment that they would have been in. That's it, yeah. That's Whereas, it. you know, in a book, you just don't get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching the video on um, Passchendaele 1917. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it inspired you to uh, maybe visit there as well when uh, when you're in the area. It's a great free park up, and is a fantastic museum. If you want to see the video on the whole of the area, uh, there is a link somewhere, probably there, 
uh, that you can uh, take a look at. So uh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to us and uh, follow our family's journey all over Europe and the UK.